the most animals at this sanctuary like are they rescue animals or are they just all of them yes every single one of mm-hmm. them so every single animal at like a vegan sanctuary yeah. is rescued from factory farms and slaughterhouses different i mean it's not only slaughterhouses that is a problem in the world it's also test labs that test on animals and exploit them and su- let them suffer um for reasons that have no um, impact on our health or our science. Um, but well, can't it be argued that basically every animal is being unnecessarily tested on and exploited in these factory farms and therefore every animal should be like in a sanctuary? Like how do they how do they pick out I which think animals they are... shouldn't only be in sanctuaries, they shouldn't be bred in the first place. Right. We right. have a problem in the society that we just use animals to whatever we need. It could be fashion, uh, test labs, it could be even just entertainment, it could be even pets. So I also save animals from shelters because a lot of animals out there are just being put to sleep because nobody wants to adopt them. They're old, they're not entertaining the way that the people don't want, or they have like... Um, personality problems because they have been misused and mistreated and they develop their own trauma. I mean, every animal is as vibrant and individual like we are. So if I misuse an animal, I don't know how to manage an animal because they have their own they're a different species, right? So I can't expect an animal to behave the way I want it to. I mean, you can already not even expect an animal, a human to perform the way you want. If you have a relationship with a child, an employer, or with a love um, lover or whatever, you don't need, um, you're, you're not supposed to like expect someone to behave the way you want. Same with the animals. And then a lot of people out there, they get animals from, you know, puppy stores or yeah. bunny stores. I think, oh, look at that cute bunny or look at that cute puppy because it's so pretty. And then they grow up and they're not as cute. They're not performing the way humans want. And then they end in shelters. So every day, I don't know how many animals, you know, are being put to sleep, but most of the animals that we have from like shelters or other rescues, those are the ones that would have been put to sleep, for example, or nobody wanted them in the first place because they have a broken leg or they have some kind of deformation yeah yeah. um because an, a kid accidentally stepped on them and then the animals need like um medical attention now so it's just overall there's like in every direction where you look um no matter what it is there's exploited animals right sea world yeah. circuses um so wherever there's needs whenever there's someone that wants to you know, to get rid of an animal, we try to get in there and say, hey, we'll take the animal, we're able to take it in, um, rehabilitate them, potentially make them ready for another adoption to people that really want that animal and are ready to take care of an animal for life. Like a child, you don't want to have a child and say, oh, now you're not performing the way I want, you don't look the way I want you to look. You know, let's just put them in an adoption cycle and we're not putting humans to sleep either. So... We should treat the animals with the same respect and, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. And then so how about like Mm -hmm. the animals that you have rescued or like the animals that you've like kind of helped and brought to the sanctuary? Like, how did you guys go about that story? What, what, like what, I guess, inspired you to do that? And like, how did it feel like when you brought the animal to the sanctuary? I mean, activism is really hard sometimes because you see so many, so many bad things that are, it hurts to see it. And then sometimes you're in a moment, you think, oh, maybe I could really help that specific animal right now. I could reach out and just help that animal because the animal is screaming or I know that animal is going to be put to sleep. And I see so much value in each and every one human or animal. I'm sure you as well. I mean, you too. We're all actors. We all have the same goal. Um, And then you're like, where am I going to bring the animal? Where could I actually create a forever home for that animal? And that's been my vision my just my wish when even when I was a child to create a sanctuary for animals in need and here I 